In this video, I will show you how to run Windows on a Mac using a program called VirtualBox. First, let's take a look at the system requirements for your Mac. I would recommend that you have at least 20 to 25 gigabytes of free disk space, and, well, you have to have an administrator password for your Mac, and you have to have enough internet bandwidth to be able to download six gigabytes worth of files. Macs can run Windows in many different ways. Boot Camp is a free solution and it allows you to dual boot Windows and Mac on the same computer. It works, it works very well. Uh, I do not recommend it for this particular usage. Uh, VirtualBox, it's also free. This is the one that I'll use for this video. And then there are two commercial ones, Parallels Desktop, VMware Fusion. They work exceedingly well. In fact, they're easier to use in VirtualBox from what I understand. But for our purposes, VirtualBox is sufficient. So what exactly is it? It is a, an application that will create a computer within a computer and it runs like any other Mac application that you're used to. Safari, Keynote, iTunes. So if you install Windows into your virtual machine, you can run any Windows application on your Mac as if it were an application. And since Macs use Intel processors, they can run Windows applications natively very fast. Okay. Now let's get to the details. First thing you need to do is download Windows 10. You can pause the video at this point and read the instructions. I will also take you through a quick tour in Safari. So this is the first step, download Windows. The second step is to download the VirtualBox installer. The third step is to install VirtualBox. Fourth, you install Windows into the VirtualBox. The fifth step is to update Windows. This will take quite a while, by the way. And the final step will be to install your desired software. So let's go back to step one. Download Windows 10. This you will do from Safari and use the search term download Windows 10 ISO. Choose the first result, and you can follow the instructions on my power, my keynote slide, or you could watch this. Select the edition that you want to download. There is only one possibility, Windows 10. Confirm. Select the product language. Confirm. And choose the 64-bit download. So permit Microsoft to download the file, and you'll notice it's downloading in the standard Safari downloads bar. I will cancel because I've already downloaded this file. So that's to download Windows 10. Step 2, download the VirtualBox installer. Again, a fairly simple search term. Virtual box download should be sufficient to get what we want. Oracle VM virtual box, the very first link. And on the left hand side of the screen, there's downloads, OSX hosts. So make sure you get OSX hosts. And again, this one requests your permission to download the file, allow it, and you'll notice it too is downloading. And in my case, again, I will stop the download because I already have the files. So next step is to install VirtualBox. Depending on your computer, you may have to change settings. So let's go to the Finder and look in my Downloads folder. Here is VirtualBox. So I'm going to open up the disk image. It's opening the disk image. and open up and run the package. This package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Continue, continue, 
And in this case, you can see it takes 260 megabytes of space on the computer. That's not much space. Install. And this is where you will need your password, your administrator password, that is. It is possible that you will run into issues installing this, in which case you will need to open up your system preferences, go into security and privacy, and you may notice allow apps download from App Store or App Store and identified developers. It could be that you have App Store selected only, in which case you'll have to give permission for the VirtualBox installer to run. So to do that, you will need to click the lock to make changes, enter your administrator password. There we go. Uh, so you'll see to the right of this a message saying this program was prevented from running. Please give permission to run it or something along those lines. This is the window that greets you when the software installation is done. So we can close this. Do we need to keep the installer? Not really. You can safely move it to the trash. The disk image gets moved into the trash. And next time you go to empty trash, it will get emptied. So now let's open up VirtualBox. From within the Finder, you could go to your Applications folder and open up VirtualBox from there. Welcome to VirtualBox. This is where you configure VirtualBox. There are some very good videos on the web about how to configure VirtualBox. I'll go through a quick one here. Um, I do recommend that you look at the more well-planned VirtualBox videos. In VirtualBox, click on the New button. I'll call it Our Windows. We are installing Microsoft Windows, but please make sure you install Windows 10 64-bit. Uh, at this point, we click Continue. Two gigs. If you're running something simple, two gigs should be sufficient. Bump up my RAM a bit, maybe make it three gigabytes worth of RAM. We can accept the defaults, even if you do not have 50 gigabytes of free space. You can just accept 50 gigabytes the actual size of the hard drive will not be so large. Um, again, accept the default. We're going to accept a VirtualBox disk image. Dynamically allocate the space so it will only use as much as it needs. And we create our hard drive. At this point, we are ready to roll. All we need to do is provide the installer. We go into Settings storage, empty, and at this point you choose the file. So we go over to optical drive to the right, choose a virtual disk, we choose a disk file. And you'll remember that we downloaded the Windows 10 ISO, open that, OK. At this point all you need to do is start. From this pop-up menu, make sure you choose the Windows 10 ISO that we chose earlier, click Start, and your installation proceeds. At this point, I will speed up the video so that you don't have to wait.
Hey, look, that's me. Cor now choose if you...